feel like Vada Fly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime bro. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Sometimes ask Peter nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vada Fly. When you start rapping like that, you gon' fall so many times, I'm glad you get back up I saw so many niggas dying, had to get strapped up I'm sensitive, I'm off the Henny, don't you get clapped up If you told you know the code, you don't get dapped up You already know what it is, man, salute to the subscribers That notification, gang, rights, gang, clothing.com For the merchandise, you heard me right, got my brother with me Showtime, that's Peter, nobody that knows bodies so, 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 so yeah, Danger Zone versus Kid Chaos I've mm -hmm. seen a lot of people commenting and tweeting and asking us to recap this And talk about this Battle that happened, um, it came out on the URL app. Mm -hmm. Salute to the URL app and everything that they're doing. Um, so you have Kid Chaos, an upstart. You know, he's got bars, he's got potential, he does his thing, he's mm -hmm. had some dope joints, mm -hmm. and he's getting that push. That's the thing, you know, once you get into the rhythm, you start getting the push and you start seeing some names. It's your objective to cook against the people that are put in front of you, you mm -hmm. know, to try to continue to ascend yourself to a higher level mm -hmm. but you have to do it in front of competition now some of this competition that you see they're not gonna be the biggest names they're not gonna but they're gonna be serviceable veterans mm. a danger zone you know you'll see guys like Danny Myers guys like Shugs guys like JC serviceable people who can easily beat you yeah but you have to show that you can do it before they start putting you in front of the super bigger mm -hmm. names and um overall what you think about the battle now I'll say this my initial thoughts to the battle was um, Danger Zone was he had some bars in there. Mm -hmm. He was very verbish to me, you know, mm -hmm. the conscious student with the conscious student, the ramen noodle, I like all that shit. I get it, mm -hmm. but it was the verbiage to me. Mm -hmm. uh, Kid Chaos, and we gonna we gonna chop this up. And Kid Chaos, I felt like he was he had some shit. Was he gassed? Fuck yeah, he was gassed. Mm -hmm. They were gassing that shit. If I would have played that battle in my car, I wouldn't have had to stop and get gas yesterday. I could have <laughs> just played that battle and rode that shit to wherever I wanted to go. But that's another story starring different actors. You may not like it, but I really don't care. So, um, <laughs> he had some shit though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? His rounds were super long. And that's the thing about these born legacies. They ain't got nobody stopping you. They ain't got no clock. They ain't got none of that shit. These niggas is rapping four or five minute rounds, and he got heat from beginning all the way to the end. Right. You know what I'm saying? Some of the, some of some. Of Kid Chaos's scheme sometimes be a little bit too long for, mm -hmm. for me. He raps from A to T or key. Instead of going from A to Z, he'll go A, B, C, D. Oh, let me get back to B, C, D, E, F. And he'll be long. Mm -hmm. But then some of them, he gets to the punch quick. I like his style. He don't sound like nobody to me. That's the hardest thing for the newer guys. To not sound like nobody. Clicking, bang, and all that other goofy mm -hmm. shit. He sounds original. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's got a fucking pen on him. I heard the people in the background wilding. Even K Sean and other folks like, what? He just said the big kaboo. Oh my god. So it's well worth it. Now okay. it's on you. Alright, I was about woo. Now it's on I was, you. I was gonna light you up. I'm like, so is it really war? Is it gas? Is it gas? All the gas was outside. They had to smack the glass. They was out there with it. Yeah. Then how you got somebody going outside going crazy? You know what you hearing? <laughs> You don't know what's yeah, happening on the side of it. But Kayshawn's reaction, mm -hmm. to me, that didn't feel like gas. Mm -hmm. Because, if, all right, what uh, I would like to think the same thing. Like, But if you in a room with Lux, Mook, Shine, like Daylight, all of those dudes, you if you got those guys going, mm, if I get a mm or a tss, nigga, I'm losing my mind. Right. Especially if I'm a rookie. So it, to me, all that gas, to me, I, I accept it. But there are a couple. There was a couple lines in there where I'm like, all right, you know, y'all could have, y'all, mm, mm, all right, fine, that's fine. But what I would like to shed light on in this battle is the style of writing. Right. So you say with Danger Zone, it's verbish. I could understand that to a certain degree, but the thing about with the thing that Danger Zone writes with, his punches are in bunches, and it is like every bar. Some of them don't even hit as hard as you would expect him to hit as hard. Mm -hmm. Especially when he lead the way that he leads that drawn out scheme. Mm -hmm. And then it's not a heavy haymaker. Another flaw that I have with Danger Zone. He be saying bars that I know, I know 
if there's 100% of the people that watch battle rap, there's about 60% of the people that understand everything about battle rap, and then there's 30% that understand all references of pop culture and all that type of stuff. Danger Zone reaches that 30%. This nigga had a hitcher. He had a hitcher line like Albert Brenneman. Who's Albert Brenneman? Albert mm. Brenneman was Kevin James in the movie Hitch with mm. Will Smith. Nobody was gonna really catch that. that. Nobody was gonna catch I did. But nobody was gonna catch that. The way that Kid Chaos uh, writes. Kid Chaos is, <clears throat> you can always tell the way that he writes, it's a spoken word form. It's, mm -hmm. it's a, I'm a dance around and prance around, but I'm gonna get to the point. It don't matter where I chatter there, it's, it's always gonna get to that joint. If you want the smoke, I got the dope, but as long as you roll in the door, like, it's like that, it's a dancing around, but the ending haymaker line usually relies on that top bar. Mm -hmm. And I'm only gonna show you all of that in the first round. Mm. Now, My one thing I will say about it before you get into it, mm -hmm. respectfully, is uh, I feel like Kid Chaos is one of the hardest workers. Like, the way that he writes and his style of writing, mm -hmm. it's not easy. No. It's not no surface no. level shit. It's not no, when I wake up, the gun next to the bed, tech to your head, respect for the dead. It ain't no easy, no. goofy shit like that. No. It's a, it's a style of writing that when I, ever since I first heard him, I was like, yo, this is phenomenal. Yeah. Now, if he can bottle this up and then take good angles and be able to rap against a lot of these guys, he'll be going far. Mm -hmm. And now to see that he's rising to the top of that class. Yeah. He's getting those names. He's making a name for himself. Mm -hmm. I think it's dope. But anyway, let's just get right into it. What's I, up, man? Now, with Danger, he's going to do he's going to do uh, uh, the back and forth. So I'm going to do my favorite line of the first round. He goes, against a nigga this relentless falls short like midgets tripping. Mm -hmm. Nigga, fuck your prison sentence. Squeeze in and have one sent to Lincoln, niggas penny pinching. Mm. Okay, relentless, fall short, niggas, okay. Fuck your prison sentence, because Kid Chaos did spend some time in prison. Mm. But he says, I have one sent to Lincoln. Okay, penny pinching. I draw a cig or a tech, and they kid getting wet. The, even, uh, even, uh, even niggas that skinny dipping. So, so niggas getting wet, skinny dipping. Mm -hmm. So run son like Diggy Simmons or die hard. He ain't Mr. Willis. Run son Diggy Simmons, mm -hmm. die hard Mr. Willis. You pull, he said you pull strings pass before, you sh pull strings to pass before reaching your full potential like Jimi Hendrix. Mm -hmm. Cause he played the guitar, but obviously he was on the acid trip. Right. Die before his time. Okay, headshot. This will go from me being a fan of his work to Brandon is worth to Amber Alert. I'm here to expose what kid is missing. Mm. Okay. Unpacking it. Damn, you had a lot of bars. Those were the dope little ones. But the haymaker that you had was I'm here to expose what kid is missing. Mm -hmm. You gotta, you gotta get there. You gotta get me there. You just felt like you were just shooting around a lot and shooting in the air, but just so happened one caught me. You know what I'm saying? It was a shotgun type style. Mm -hmm. um, uh, another one, he says, he says, I will for that green mask up. I'm really Ipkiss. Yeah, I know. Stanley Ipkiss. Stanley, okay. Understands me. Bing, got one. And see what I'm saying? 30% though. It uh, understands me. This ain't Stanley. It's Stanley. So acknowledge facts. This ain't Stanley, not, not a normal person. This is Stanley. I am the creator. Swallow your pride. Thank the block for that. Cause you facing the creator of the shit that you write. They like to marvel at. Mm, Stanley, creator. Oh. Ooh. You see what I'm saying? That they like to. The, I get me there. You gotta. So if Danger Zone were to compile that and make it like that every single line, he can do that. But he did an Albert Brent, like I said, he did an Albert Brent, like the Stanley Ipkiss line, mm -hmm. fire. Mm -hmm. But nobody nobody caught the, for the green, I'll mask up. Because the green is the map. You see what I'm saying? Like, I get it. 30% though, Danger, you gotta, you gotta reach that 60 though. Here is where Kid Chaos gets that 60% though. Because the way that he writes is, I got the bars in between it, but it's pertaining to you. Mm -hmm. It has everything to do with you, but everything that has that you're doing, it pertains to a bar itself. He says, I get the feeling that you don't see that your image been dipping and you lose. He said, I'm sorry, 
My bad. I get the feeling that you don't see that your M has been dipping and losing steam with every written sentence it's truly seen. That gap between you and other lyricists is not as significant as it used to be. You hit your ceiling, and now you in need of that gift you're given to do its thing, but surprise, it's ruin, see, mm. because we've been covering for you, and now you can see your presence ain't special no more, cause you have peaked. The presence ain't? Yep, cause it's a surprise, but obviously, yeah. it's been ruined, see, cause you have peaked. Before that though, he said the gap between you and other lyrics is not as significant as it used to be. Because the gap between, remember I told you in the beginning, I said Danger Zone used to be top five, most dangerous, uh, on the top of every list, battle of the year, and, all, and then after that his shit just dropped, so the gap ain't where it used to be, that's crazy. I get the feeling that you don't see. Come on, it's a, it's a layer on top of the layer, but he got to it way faster than the the uh, uh, the Stanley Ipkiss. So acknowledge, he said, uh, 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 I'm, I'll green, I'll mask up, it's really Ipkiss, all right? And then one more, just one more style of writing, because this is all in the first round. Second and third round, it's still clear. I clearly had chaos winning this battle, but it's the style of writing that I love. Right. He goes, but if you grew some feet, you wouldn't have to deal with this gruesome feet. Mm. Gruesome feet. Mm -hmm. Gruesome feet. That you facing, bro. Just play your role. Cause you were cold in two points in time, but now them days are gone. Mm. Just think about it. They done booked clean paper twice since you last been here. And he no showed. Yeah, they would he's they would rather have nobody than to take you on. And on that scale it shows, even on drugs, QP holds more oh, weight than zones. That was crazy. Because a zone is a, is a zip or an that was ounce. Crazy. But if there's four of those, it obviously holds. That was crazy. That's the level of writing that I say that he works hard. He's at, at least four times what you are. It's a it's a cascading roll. So like I said, certain the I get why Sean and him was going off. Like I get why Sean was going off. Why? Because he writes like that. Mm -hmm. When a good writer notices good writing, you gotta react to that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't listen to Yana with the smack in the glass shit. Cause that <laughs> he was so annoying. Smack the glass. Smack. And he did that with Jim's and Yana too. Like I'm owning every single round. Because I started to poke holes in the way that Danger was writing. And it was getting to the point where it was just like, all right, all right, I get it. I get it. It's But the one punchline is the one haymaker. It takes too long to get there. Kid Chaos is a good example of that writing. He just needs to condense it just a little bit more. Um, give me Kid Chaos in this battle. Um, doesn't matter to me. 2130. Uh he when you're a veteran, mm-hmm. You're not supposed to even be in close battles with these, with these young guys. Uh, so, uh, this guy, Kid Chaos, is on a higher writing plane. He's up there. He's bugging. Uh, give him who he wants. Keep him challenged. Yeah. Uh, he's got a saga coming up. We'll see how that goes. But keep him challenged. I mean, Chilla. He, I'm about to say he said and, uh, saga's and, coming up. Chilla. Uh, they kept they kept saying Chilla isn't. Uh, well, Chilla said we gon we gonna talk about that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And he's he, he's definitely one of them ones. He mm -hmm. takes the game serious. Mm -hmm. He promotes himself well. Yeah. Uh even as a rookie, he's got clothes out. Like we've spoken about different things to help him with his clothing and things. And you know, he's been selling merchandise. This is what you're supposed to do. This is what you're supposed when you put in that position, mm -hmm. you don't just sit around and wait to promote yourself or wait for somebody else to give you a handout. You mm -hmm. go out there and you get it. And I got a lot of respect for him. He's still got to keep working. He's not a finished product oh, yet, no. but who is? No. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, other than that, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. You the ig You gon' fall so many times, I'm glad you get back up. I saw so many niggas die and had to get strapped up. I'm sensitive, I'm off the henny, don't you get clapped up. If you told you no know the code.